Hi there and welcome to another exciting tutorial from the Warcraft 3 World Editor. Now this tutorial is going to be about an external tool called the Warcraft 3 Viewer. You see I have it right here but this doesn't come with the program. And the way you get it is you go to the internet, internet, <laughs> the internet browser and you go to the warcraft3we.tk. This is my website. And then you just go to this site, it says welcome, and you see my website, and you press downloads, and click the download link, and this web website should come up, and this is where I store my stuff. And here you see some art pictures that I created, and the Warcraft 3 viewer. And here it is. You just press download and then run the program. It's very simple. It doesn't require any installation. I didn't create the program, but I re-uploaded it to the internet because I forgot how to how to where to download it. So after you've downloaded it, you can um, you can open it. I have a shortcut right here on my desktop, and um, here we have the program. And it's really a great program. As you see, you can, if you left click on the, I don't know what to call this, but if you left click around here and hold and drag, you can simply drag the picture that's on the main screen or whatever it's called. And if you look at this tree view thing, you can see there are three types of yeah, I don't know what it's called, but there are three buttons. And MDX shows you models. So if you go in these folders, find units and Night Elf for, for an example, and Archer, you will press the Archer.MDX and you will see the model for the Archer. And you can just, uh, you can right click and extract MDX to extract it to your desktop or somewhere else to to edit the model but the feature about this uh, program that I find very great is that you can actually extract BLP files uh, also known as textures and there are if you open this folder with the units there are some missing skins like for example with the human they have no skin for the night in here, but the things you can't find in the folder uh, units, you can find the things you can't find in here, you can find in textures. So if I just press a random one of those and press K, it brings me to all of the things with the K, all of the textures with the K, and here is the night. And if you want to edit them, you cannot just pick a brush or something up here. You have to extract it. And you do that by right-clicking and extract and convert BLP. And then you choose the file type. I recommend you use the TGA file, the Taga, and convert it to your desktop. And you just press save and then it's done. No. Actually, you gotta say okay to this, but now it's done. Now you have this skin on your desktop, and you are freely allowed to edit it. You can edit in um, Photoshop, you can edit it in Paint. Not exactly, you cannot, uh, you cannot edit the TGA files in Paint, but I have Photoshop, so... As you see, I open Photoshop and I see the texture for the unit and you are freely allowed to edit and all of this. But if you're using Photoshop, you must, in the end of the editing of this skin, you must right click and say flatten image or merge all of the layers and make it a background. And then you can just go back to the program, Warcraft 3 Viewer, and when you're there you can press 
the TGA BLP button. And when you press that button, you will see this thing come up and you got to find the, the thing you want to convert. So you find the knight, you double click it and you want to save the texture as a dot BLP so you can use it in in the Warcraft 3. And I made a pretty cool skin for the Go right now, but um, yeah, you just press save and OK, and it says successfully converted to BLP. And you just press OK to that, and you can close the program. And if you want to know how to import this, uh, import and attach this uh, this skin you just created, you gotta watch one of my other tutorials. And um, thanks for now. Remember to comment and rate.